The music industry is paying tribute to powerhouse record executive Mo Austin who died peacefully in his sleep on Sunday evening, according to a statement from Warner Records. He was 95 years old. Austin oversaw the careers of a long list of marquee talent, The Kinks, Jimi Hendrix, Joni Mitchell, Neil Young and Prince among them. Born in New York to Russian immigrants, Austin's early years in the business were spent at the jazz label Verve. In 1960, when Frank Sinatra started his own record label, Reprise, he hired Austin as its administrative vice president. Reprise was eventually bought by Warner Records. In 1970, Austin became president of Warner Brothers Records. Under his leadership, the company was home to both mainstream pop stars and to more underground-minded artists, from Frank Zappa and the Sex Pistols to James Taylor and Fleetwood Mac. After leaving Warner in 1993, Austin went on to head DreamWorks SKG, along with his son Michael and former Warner executive Lenny Waronker. Among the many tributes, Frank Sinatra's daughter Nancy, a reprise artist herself, writes that Austin was a true force in the music industry and a real sweetheart. Rapper and producer Q-Tip, who signed with DreamWorks SKG in order to work with Austin and Waronker, writes, Thank you for all the noise. God bless Mo. One of the truly good ones. Our thoughts are with his family today. Austin did have his detractors. In 1978, Warner acquired Sire Records which brought the label The Talking Heads, The Pretenders, and Madonna. Sire founder Seymour Stein did not have kind words for Austin in his memoir, calling him secretive by design and a natural-born politician. In 1994, Austin reflected on the tension between giving artists creative freedom and the bottom line in an interview with the Los Angeles Times, You Can't Maya. Randy Newman, Van Dyke Parks, Rai Kuda Those Guys, helped us sign as many acts to this label as some of our biggest sellers because they had this incredible recognition and peer respect. Austin was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. Mo lived an extraordinary life doing what he